Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays Minecraft Pine Ridge and we are back here at the lighthouse and what I decided is to have the final level just be the light point which I put up there and I put some fences around there and that actually looks a lot more like how most lighthouses look that you see in pictures because near the beacon you have a railing around there and I wish I had thought of that before because other times when I had done lighthouses I had a lot of trouble with the top and I think this is actually more likely in a real one so what I've done inside is I have been working on a little bit of a wall here and putting up a staircase and the staircase of course is going to help us to get to the top but staircases are very problematic in lighthouses if you remember my other attempts at doing such things so I'll probably have to do a stairway most of the way up eventually but the reason why I need this stairway here is because I am going to be working on the window pattern and in this lighthouse the window pattern is going to be important now you see I have five blocks here and the idea what I'm going to do for a window pattern is I'm not going to do what's going to be a straightforward window pattern is what I'm doing is I'm going to be doing two here and then one here like that and I'm going to do this all the way around and this isn't for aesthetic reasons because it's probably not going to be a pattern that's necessarily going to be pleasing to the eye or anything like that but the entire reason for this pattern is for identification the idea is that if someone is off in the distance and they see a lighthouse they're going to want to know which lighthouse is it we don't have modern GPS or radio signals to send out so therefore we're not going to just be able to broadcast that and says, okay there's a lighthouse here let's turn on our radio signal says okay this is lighthouse such and such and now before you had that stuff another way could have been to have your rotating beacon and it could rotate in in a way that oscillates so that you could maybe count how fast it turns around or perhaps it could go up then down a little bit uh, let me see in a modulated style so that perhaps there's more than one opening into the beacon and you could use the pattern there and that your navigation charts tell you what the pattern is like but that's not really feasible here in Minecraft so I thought that the best thing to do is to have all four sides have these here. Now it'd be nice if we had lanterns but this is vanilla Minecraft and there aren't any lanterns. So I figured that on this floor we'll have a pattern like this and on up here right in the center we will have one more in each one. Now I will oh let's see do I yeah I'll, I'll use dirt for now since this is sort of a scaffolding rather than what I'm really going to be using in the long run so what I could do then oh yes duh the entire point is that it comes in right yes so the idea there is that we will put one here so therefore if anyone sees that there is a lighthouse with this pattern they know that they are approaching strand all right, let's, yes, okay, and we'll just use this, and I'll probably come back later when I have some more oak in order to do whatever brings them up here, but this at least will give us our light pattern, which is the point that I wanted to show here. All right, and now let's see. Now, we are going to need some way of getting up there. Do I have any ladders? No, I don't have any ladders, but I do have a... 
I do have a crafting table. That is useful. And I have, well, I have some oak with me. Good. Maybe I can actually get this done. Alright, and... And there it goes! Alright, well... Let, let's get some ladders here. Let's see... Three ladders each. I guess we can get one, two, three, four... And... There we go. Good, now let's see, does this... Alright, and that should... Well, that goes down at least down to there. That means we could get the... And that means we're going to need a trap door. That's a pressure plate. And... Okay. I think we're going to need the... Yes, I got rid of the crafting table too quickly. Because you need... Trap door is going to be... Is that a trap door? No, that's a pressure plate. That's, uh, that's a slab. Oh, yeah, that actually, that's the... Yeah, wooden trap door. Good. Alright, and plop this here. And that way we don't get rain falling in because... Well, a lighthouse isn't exactly the worst place where you're going to have rain falling in, but... There we, there we go. So, <laughs> that's up there. That takes care of that for now. And I'll probably do something similar all throughout there. I guess I'm just going to have to take a little fall damage here, actually. Unless I get my... Yeah, well. Yeah, a little fall damage. Right, so you get the idea. Now let's have a look at what it looks and what we have outdoors, because that's what's going to make a difference. Before we do that, because after this we're going to be taking a little bit of a journey and I want to make sure that I have a proper inventory when I do that. I want to keep these here. Spruce. Yeah, I'm going to try to bring some materials with me because I don't need all this. I might take some acacia with me. I'll take the birch with me. Keep the wheat with me. Let's take some oak. Good, we keep the trap door here. There, fences. I need to get some stuff out of my... But what I can do, though, is... Okay, I don't... So I'll take some cobble with me. And some sandstone. Good, because I will have a few things to show about here, and I think that will come in handy. Alright. Good. Now, let's have a look at the lighthouse as it stands to see whether it looks nice or if it looks really bad. And that's... Uh, right now... Okay, so there. That is... Oh... I can see clear through. So what I'm going to have to do then is have a backdrop for the lamps. Because if you, it'll be a very confusing signal if you can see all the way through to the other side. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to need a little bit of a backdrop there. And that's why you look at it from a distance. Now, what you see right here, this little island here is, or I guess it's a cape really, since yeah, this little cape, peninsula or or whatever is going to be used for a little bit of a shrine and that's going to be one of my later builds, is I'm going to have various shrines all over the place and this is going to be the shrine to the sea, and I figure that this little 
piece of land is going to be constantly be flooded, so that'll be useful for that. And the shrine there is going to serve two purposes. One, of course, is dedicated to the sea spirits, but it's also going to be the be a bit of a extra warning thing to say there is this big sandbar here. Please avoid going around it. So it's going to serve a dual purpose. So because this is going to be one of the paths for the port is going to be right through here and so it'll be a bit of an aid to navigation. And this around here is where I'm going to be building the port and after the port we will be having our road and this road is going to be leading up to Pine Ridge itself. And I thought I could show you the road since I've shown you some parts of Pine Ridge but not the route which I'll be taking now. What I did for now is I created a temporary torch road and I'm going to figure avoiding going up hills when it's going to be likely to be worse. But I'll probably just be filling in on there when I build the road. Because that'll be easily filled in. So that is our plans on exactly what I'm going to do. And of course, when you build a road, you try to go up and down hills as little as possible. So I'll probably have, just have to go around this hill here. I know you could just terraform the whole thing, but since I do a very bad job at making aesthetic looking terraforming, the natural patterns just seem to look better, that I want to try to avoid doing it as much as possible. So I'll probably be going around a bit, stuff like this, because a lot of traditional roads are very windy in order to go around all those hills and the like. It's not like a modern interstate highway where, oh, you've got a mountain in your way? Well, just plow down the mountain or make a tunnel through it or something like that, which is something that they're more likely to do today, while traditionally, in a time setting when I'm thinking for this story, it's more likely that they would just have gone through, that they would have just gone around it if possible. Yeah, Alright, but that little, that small hill just might be small enough that they'll just tear that one down since that was sometimes an option. Alright, so you can see here we've got all these wonderful sheep and I guess I must have lost those shears at some point that I had. That's what happens when you get killed a few times, is that you lose things like shears. Alright, but now we are here at this. Now this is a place I have got to explore, so because I can see that there's some iron down here. Actually, possible it might be a desert temple, or I don't know if that's a desert temple or a random cave or anything like this. It's a... Uh, you have to be inside of a desert temple, I would think, a few times instead of just seeing them on videos in order to know exactly what they look like. So, we that's something I need to check out. Maybe sometime I could do an episode on one of those things. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I have things settled so that if I do get killed, I could come back reasonably quickly. Now, I am going to be needing at some point a little bit of an inn. And in fact, that's what I'm likely to do, is I'll probably bring stuff down, settle at an inn. And while I am there, I could use that as a base, sleep overnight, and come back to the temple. That way, if I get killed, I can quickly get back here. Because I've had a few times where I've had trouble. Oh, see, there's another one of these potential... Dungeon slash... Temples slash caves or whichever one it is that I can explore. So I have a few nice things that I could explore along the way here. In fact, I did look at one cave that was down in here and I got killed. 
I know, big surprise. And I think that was the first one where I actually got back in time before all my stuff despawned. So it wasn't as bad as my usual cases of getting killed. Now this is probably where I'm going to put my inn. It's right on here. I'm probably going to have to make a bridge here because that's what we're going to have to do. And so I'll probably put an inn here and here is a sign. See Riverside in future site. Okay, so this is where we're going to put the Riverside in. I figured this would be a nice little place. Now, it'll probably technically it'd be more realistic for there to be a ferry going across there. But since we don't have fairies in this game. We'll have to deal with a bridge instead. Alright, let's head on down. And see how far we can get. So, now we're going through this birch forest. So this is the area where I got my birch wood. And this is also filled with sheep and cattle. So, therefore, if I'm ever in a situation where I need to start breeding cattle, this will be perfect for that. And we've got... Now the question is whether this is better for a bridge or to go around. I'll probably just wind up building a bridge here. I think there are three bridge sites that I have. One is first the inn and then we have the one by the inn, one right there, and the third one's coming up. At. Now this is a place that's I haven't been able to find a way around it. I am going to have to survey this. And when I build the inn and have a nice settled place in the area, I could explore this area a bit more and see if there's a way around here. And that would be very useful. Now this was a natural tunnel. And originally I was going around it with great difficulty. When I found I had a, a natural tunnel here, I just course built through there so I could just build over this and turn this into a proper place so I could you know let's say boom 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 pickaxe a little small area of this now that doesn't go anywhere this is signaling our third bridge and probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a high bridge so in other words go across here as you would see against you know across the gorge and that way I can get up there without being forced to stay up there I think that's a good idea that's alright that way I don't have to go down and back up because going down and back up it can be a bit of a pain if I do decide to stay up there so now here is a particularly hard one for, for me to get around is I don't want to have too steep of a grave because right now I have me going through this tree here and obviously that's not a very practical route. Now you may be wondering why am I worried about a land route instead of a water route. And that's because for me to use a water route will be kill the entire theme of the matter and that is that Strand is a water port and that it trades with other people the stuff that is found at Pine Ridge. It's Pine Ridge is a trading post with underground and if Pine Ridge had a proper port you wouldn't need Strand. So therefore I feel that Pine Ridge was founded to bring to make it easier for them to access the materials and that the stuff is being brought back and forth. And anyway, whenever I do try to take any water routes to here, it goes around a completely different path and you have to go through quite a even more mountains in there and I kept on getting killed in those, so I think that this is probably the one that is uh, would be a safer route in which to have a road. 
and of course safety is another concern that they would have on there all right now it sounds like it is getting late and before we do that how's this going i've got yeah because i was too far away so that wasn't ticking up but i do have a nice set of pumpkins up there good but now let's get to my hey see the only reason i went to check that and that's the only reason why i'm likely going to be late right okay let's head out here i've had plenty of times before i had this nice torch road where i have just died practically in front of this place because i couldn't find it but all right and so this is my temporary base so next time i am going to build the wall around here for the enclosure that will be used in order to enclose the trading post so I know that the wall is going to include at least this entrance and this entrance. I'll see if it includes any others, but I don't want to include the entire village inside of this place because the compound, at least above ground, is going to be limited in scope, where most of it is probably going to be underground since this is a trading post that is being with the underground folk. And much of the above ground area is going to be used by the villagers in order to help support the location but we're going to start on that next time for our next episode of piney plays minecraft pine Ridge. thank you everyone for watching this episode of piney plays minecraft pine ridge a vanilla minecraft survival series that is all for today and this is piney newells reminding you to mine responsibly